Making your characters move inside your visualizers can make all the difference and today I'm gonna show you guys how to animate them the right way. So first open a Photoshop project picture. Let's go ahead and click on that tool right there. Now what you're gonna do is simply separate the body parts that you want to animate. For my example, I'm gonna separate the arms. So I'll just make a selection around the arms. And then I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna delete it and then paste it. So just place it where it belongs. Now what you're gonna do is hide the body layer. And what I'm gonna do with this right arm, I'm gonna separate it into two sections, one for the forearm and one for the bigger arm. So I'm just gonna take the forearm right there, copy, delete and paste. I'll just, and there's a little problem now bigger arm has a big empty space and we do not want that in the animation so what you're gonna do the opacity of the forearm down and go in the right arm layer and then just do a quick collection of like this then what you're gonna do is simply take the painting tool click on alt the color of this the shirt and just try to paint As you can see the all is filled and what you can do for a better result is just blend so all you have to do is just take this tool and just start doing that and here you go this is one arm so i have full control over the forearm and full control over the bigger arm just do that for the rest of the body parts that you want to animate i'll just do the second arm real quick and, and then i'll see you later in after effects i got one more tip for you guys as you can see this is a pretty big hole and if we just and if we're just using the paint tool this will look unnatural simply so what we can do is just make a selection right there and just right click and click on generative fill and you got you'll have something pretty decent just merge it down with your body layer and here you go all of the body parts that you need are separated and you're ready to animate once you're in after effects what you're gonna do is simply import your photoshop folder inside of your after effect just drag it right there click on editable layer style click on ok now just put the layer inside your timeline now enter your composition and what you're gonna do is just select it all and try to scale it down a little bit and just when you do that just hold shift to not have a weird distortion like this just hold shift like this and you should be good so now what i'm gonna do is just animate the right arm first so first and foremost i want the forearm to follow the right arm so i want these two to follow each other so what i'm gonna do is simply take the forearm uh, squirrel put it inside the right arm so whenever i rotate the right arm the forearm will follow and now once this is done, what you can do now, put the anchor point where it is supposed to be. For example, for the right arm, if I rotate it, it's not rotated in the right way, if we're being honest. So just click on that tool right there and put it where it's supposed to rotate, meaning the shoulder, right there. Now if we try, much better, but still not good looking. So let's try again. This is much better. So just do the same for the forearm and any other parts that you want to animate. So I'm just going to try to put it there. Yeah, it looks good. So now what you're going to do is just simply start your animation. So one keyframe right there, another one right there. Just, just do as you wish, honestly. Now I'm just doing whatever just to show you that it works. So now I'm just going to animate the forearm. By the way, do not hesitate to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know in the comments what you want me to do next. And this is giving me something like that. I'm just gonna do this for the second arm. So yeah, I'm, I'm done with the arms. As, as if you follow, you can see that I didn't cut out the head. So I was just trying to test the pin tool. So just go ahead and select your body. What you're gonna do is put the first pin there, another one there, another one there, and final one on top of the head. So as you can see, the head moves a lot. And if you don't like the shoulder moving with it, just put a pin right there. And the shoulder won't move and just do that for the rest and i like it like that so what you're gonna do now is just try to find this uh this pin that you made it right there on top of his head and simply try to animate it you know just f9 those two keyframes and you got a clean animation to be honest really super quickly for the tutorial it's not perfect as you can see right there if the video was helpful, don't hesitate to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Let's see you in another video.